Ready. Set. Hut hut. Hike. Omaha. Hello friends and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to do a Super Bowl special. The Super Bowl is coming up. The playoffs have been incredible and I want to show you some appetizers that I think are very quick, super delicious, and very easy to make. Really excited to show you these appetizers. Let's get it started. The first thing I'm going to do is start my chicken to boil. Now one suggestion might be you just go to your local supermarket and grab a rotisserie chicken. The way I like to get my uh, chicken like shreddable is I'll cook it in some, some chicken stock. So I'm gonna throw in my favorite chicken broth into a, a pot of water. I've got three chicken breasts and I'm gonna boil them for one hour. Now nah, fuck a pot. Um, I forgot, for Christmas I got an Instapot. So instead I'm gonna use the Instapot, probably cut my time by three quarters. So I'm gonna Instapot my chicken in some chicken broth Let's do that. Oh, we're gonna have some shreddable fucking incredible. Sh shreddable incredible. While the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna start to prep in my veg for the meatballs. Watch this. Oh, I'm so good at cutting. People cut bell peppers in all sorts of different ways, but my preferred method is just to cut around the stem after cutting it in half. That just makes it easier to get kind of a, I don't know, even cut. Because we're, we're having meatballs and peppers and onions, I'm just doing a nice thick cut, as you can see here. And anyone with a toothpick to scoop up some onions and funions and bell peppers and barbecue sauce. Two and a okay. doing two and a half stocks. Don't forget to wash them, dirty bitches. I'm gonna peel some cukes now, bitch. And after I peel them. I'm gonna slice them. Slimy fucking dildo fucker. Do your best to get your cucumbers almost the exact same size you want. Not a thin slice, but I don't know. What is that? Quarter inch? Who knows? But try to keep them a nice, a nice bite. For the cucumber delights, I'm gonna prep some dill. I happen to have some fresh dill because I made salmon the other night. No big deal. I'm kind of a good cook. But you could use dry dill for the cucumber delights. I'm gonna use fresh. And then I'm also going to chop up some green onions for our buffalo chicken dip. Put my tits and call me Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. So for the buffalo chicken dip, I gotta make a sauce. It's gonna involve some Frank's Red Hot, some butter, some ranch, some maybe some cream cheese, green onions, etc. So I'm gonna mix that all together, get it ready, and then we'll shred our chicken. Butter and Frank's Red Hot is what makes the best buffalo sauce for me. But when you're microwaving butter, make sure you only do it in increments of 30 seconds. Otherwise, it'll explode everywhere. Quarter cup of butter. Boop, 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 boop. One cup Frank's Red Hot. One cup of ranch. Oh, some of that stanky. We're gonna do a half cup of blue cheese crumble. All of our celery. I did about three green onions. I'm gonna put half of that in our mixture for the sauce. And I'm reserving half of my blue cheese crumbles, half of my green onions to put over the top. Oh, motherfuck. 
I'm also gonna add one package of what do we got? Eight ounces cream cheese. Come on, get off it, fucking asshole! All right, so my chicken's done out of the instant pot. I'm gonna shred one breast at a time and put it into my sauce mixture. Oh, look at that! The best way to shred any meat is just either with your hands or with two forks. It's cakewalk. My chicken mixture is done. I'm gonna toss in my meatballs into the Instapot just for the sake of time, but normally I throw them into a crock pot, dump in my peppers, my, well, I kind of layer it. Meatballs, peppers, onions, meatballs, peppers, onions, barbecue sauce, and, and then just let it cook until it's game time. It's super easy, stupid easy, but um, again, because of time, I'm gonna use my instant pot, so I'm gonna do that. Meatballs in, now I'm going to uh, layer off my buffalo chicken dip. I like to put chicken, and then some blue cheese crumbles, and then maybe some cheddar, and then repeat. We're gonna bake it at 350 for 20 minutes. Into the oven we go. I'm just gonna real quickly make some um, cream cheese ranch mixture. I've got two eight ounce packages of cream cheese and then two ranch dip mixes. Here we go. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mayo to this too, just to help kind of creamy. Just get a little more creamy, you know what I mean? Nothing wrong with a little creaminess. So, we'll call it a tablespoon. It's, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel. We'll call it two tablespoons. Alright, let's pull this beautiful bitch out. Oh, I'm so excited. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Yes. So to finish it, my friends, we're gonna add just a little bit of blue cheese crumbles while it's still sizzling. This is gonna melt just a little bit. Yeah, it's delicious. Then we're gonna add some green onions. This is what's really gonna help it pop. Impress your friends. Look at this. And we are done. Country fucker! We're gonna get her! My cream cheese wasn't pliable enough to mix in the ranch mixture, so I'm gonna microwave it for like 30 second intervals, try to stir it, get it more workable, and then we'll slice the bread, put the cucumbers on top, top it with a little bit of dill. We are almost done. Holy shit. It's gonna be amazing. We did it! Three appetizers in less than one hour, kind of. But we've got our buffalo chicken dip, we got our meatballs, we got our cucumber delights. Let's try them out and see how they turned out. First up is our chicken dip. Just scoot this aside. Oh, that crust of cheddar cheese on top. Chip broke, that's all right. We'll double her, double her up. Oh, that's a lot. Here we go. Got it. Mmm. That is so good. You get the um, the crunchiness from the, the top kind of toasted cheddar shell and then the creaminess of the cream cheese and the, the crunch of the celery goes a long way. You'll find a lot of recipes that don't call for celery. Put celery in it. Let's try the meatballs. Hey! And then try to get a little shaslaisa. There we go. Mmm. I'm not mad at pre-made meatballs and barbecue sauce with some peppers and onions. Perfecto. And the last is a cucumber delight. Now, the question is, is it one bite or two bites? I'm going one. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions. Creamy. 
crunchy, chewy. What's not to like? There's just one thing left to say. This shit is delicious. You're welcome. <laughs> Bitch. Shit, this is beeping. Fuck off, fuck face. Bruh. Listen, I don't like to use the word retarded because I had a retarded cousin, but they're retarded. Fucking bloop, bloop, bloop. Imagine I didn't say that. Oh, God, don't Google it. Shut the fuck up! Instapot. It's that easy. How much do I have to drink to get drunk? I'm a hop, skip, and a jump away from white trash. God damn it.